Thanks for tuning in to the ZoobTube. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create an Oloid, which is the shape right here. It's a non-spherical rolling object. And these are really cool. Um, <clears throat> I was just trying to play around and trying to figure out how to make it in cinema. So without any further ado let's go ahead and take a look at how to create this for yourself so i'll pause this let's create a new project you're going to need a couple of circles so let's start with a circle 200 uh, centimeter radius is fine and then i'm going to copy this and we need another one on the XZ plane. And I'm going to move this one by the same radius because I want this center to end up on this edge. So I'm going to set the X coordinate to 200 centimeters and that's going to pop it right there. Perfect. Then if I throw these both into a loft object, get you see that we start getting this kind of oloid shape, but we're not quite there yet. So I'm going to hit NB to turn on lines. Right away, I think I need more subdivisions. So I'm going to go into the loft and the object tab, and I'm going to increase my U subdivisions to 36. And I was playing around with this before, so I know kind of what I need. And then I'm going to set my V to something like 10. I want these to kind of look squarish. Perfect. The other thing I want to do is turn off the caps. I'm going to turn off the start and end caps. And now we get this really cool Mobius strip thing. If something is traveling on the inside, it will end up on the outside and then back on the inside. It's really cool. So this is how you create a Mobius strip, but we want to create an Oloid. So we're going to go a few steps further. I'm going to go ahead and make these circles editable just by selecting them and hitting C. Now they're editable. I'm going to go into point mode. I'm going to turn off the loft um, temporarily and then go into my for view. And what I want to do is I want to take this point and pull it all the way out to here. So I'm going to click on that point. And I'm going to turn on snapping right here. And then I'm going to pull this out until it snaps to that point. Great. Now that shape, that curved shape is not what I want. I want a more kind of sharp shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and say hard interpolation. Now you see what happened there. It interpolated the other object as hard as well. I don't want that. And it did that because I had both of these selected. So if I just deselect and go to the one that I want, now if I right click and say hard interpolation, it'll only do it for that point. Perfect. And let's do the same thing for the other one. Click on circle one, click on that point, and then move it until it snaps. Right click and set hard interpolation. Perfect. Now we have this kind of teardrop shape on both axes and if I turn on loft now you see that it's this super nice shape but we're not quite there yet we need to do one more step I'm gonna or a few more steps sorry I'm gonna duplicate this loft and I'm gonna take this this circle spline object over here I'm gonna go into object mode and go into rotation just by hitting R and I'm going to rotate that in this direction. So if I just hold down shift and go to 180 degrees, boom. Now I have a fully formed Oloid shape, but we're not done yet. What we need to do is make the shape editable so we can make it actual geometry. To do that, we're going to throw it into a connect object. We're going to take both of these and drop it in there. 
I see that it causes this kind of fong issue. So we go into connect, set it to manual, and I'm gonna right click and create a modeling fong tag. I'm gonna set my age limit to something like 15 and that fixed my fong issues, perfect. So now I want it to weld because I want those points to be welded. So if I right click now here and say current state to object, oops, current state to object, it will create a single polygon object for me. So if I hide my connect now and I go into polygon mode, you can see that this is now a polygon object. If I select all my polygons, you'll see that some of these normals are not in the correct orientation. So, so to fix that, I'm going to hit Control A to select all. And then I'm going to hit U A to align my normals. If you see, if you hit U here, you can see this menu and then you can hit A to align normals. Perfect. I'm going to get rid of all of these selection tags because I don't need them. And uh, that is how you create an Oloid. Just to make this uh, tutorial a little bit more interesting, I'm gonna add a floor and immediately we'll add a simulation collider body. Let's move our Oloid up. Let's make this a dynamic object as well. So we'll add a simulation rigid body. And if I just hit play here, we'll see that it falls, but it's not rolling, it's not going anywhere. Let's give us a few more frames here. Well, it did start rolling a little bit, but it's not doing much. So I'm just gonna give my floor a little bit of a tilt to help my Oloid roll. There we go. And there it is. That is how you create an Oloid in Cinema 4D. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you learned something new in this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.